Here would be public executions by hanging. Not a nice way to go. from Poland, bright and early, 7.30 a.m. Just on the way to Krakow train station to board my, my train to Auschwitz. Uh, I think it'll be an interesting day. Apparently you need about seven hours there, so you've got to leave early. Right, I'm going to try and grab some grub before I get on my train. I don't want to be hungry all the way. Um, I'm not even sure if you can eat anything at Auschwitz. I've got up too late to make myself any breakfast. It's a good start to the day. The natural yogurt and a cup of tea. I always like a cup of tea in the morning, an old grey. Starts me off well. So looking at the board here, you can see 819 to Oswegham. Uh, platform three. Okay, so we know where we're going. Six gods. So just try to translate that in Google Translate, it's coming up as six hours. In my head, I had it as an hour and a half. So, oh God, I hope it's not six hours, otherwise I've ruined the day. Judging by how slow this train's going, six hours seems the best case scenario. Uh, at least I've got some nice graph to look at. Uh, still a little bit of snow outside, pretty cold today. Maybe like zero degrees or something. So this hasn't gone too well, I've just arrived. Uh, Osviesen and uh, turns out you need to pre book a ticket to get to Auschwitz disaster so I've checked there's no English tours so I've had to book a tour in Polish oh no <laughs> so at least my Polish is going to improve so apparently there's no food inside so I've just got something from the snack bar behind me here they got, you know, rolls, hot dogs, hamburgers, teas. So I just bought a like bread roll with ham and cheese just to make sure I don't get too hungry because it's meant to be like three and a half hour tour or something going inside. So just approaching the entrance to Auschwitz, you can see the phrase, Arbeit macht frei. This translates to work sets you free. It did also appear at other Nazi concentration camps, but this phrase is now synonymous with Auschwitz. So this is pretty horrible. If they caught, if there was a prisoner that escaped, they would round up the family members and then send them to Auschwitz. It's made to stand under a sign announcing the reason for their arrest. And they would remain in the camp until the fugitive was found so that other prisoners would be aware of this policy and stop them trying to escape. After arriving at Auschwitz, you would be stripped naked and have all your body hair shaven off. You would then be issued with a tattoo on your left forearm of your camp number, unless you were headed straight to the gas chambers, in which case they didn't bother marking you. So these are the garments you will be given to change into immediately, but you've got no socks or no underwear. This is where inmates would sleep, packed like sardines and sleeping on sacks. If you are about to be shot, this room will be where you are stripped first. This wall features some of the faces of the people incarcerated and then ultimately murdered while at Auschwitz. It's estimated that over 1.1 million people perished in Auschwitz and Birkenau between 1940 to 1945. A typical washroom that inmates would use to quickly clean themselves. You were only given a few minutes to use a toilet, but there would often be fights as inmates would try to grab a seat. 
Labour became another form of genocide that the Nazis called extermination through work. Each day was a struggle for survival under unbearable conditions. And private companies such as BMW eagerly sought the use of the prisoners as a source of cheap labour. Inmates were always hungry. As you can imagine, they didn't get much. Food consisted of watery soup made with rotten vegetables and meat. A bit of bread, some kind of drink resembling coffee. And then, of course, diarrhoea was common. And if you're weakened by dehydration and hunger, it's easy to fall victim to any contagious diseases that would spread through the camp. Cruel medical experiments were conducted at Auschwitz. Men, women, children were used as subjects. Doctors carried out painful and traumatic experiments on dwarfs and twins, including young children. The aim of most of these experiments was to find better medical treatments for German soldiers and airmen. Other experiments were aimed at improving methods of sterilising people that the Nazis considered inferior. Many people died during the experiments and others were killed after the research was completed and then their organs were removed for further study. So here we have the death wall at the side of block 11. SS men shot several thousand people here, mostly Polish political prisoners. The only issue doing your own tour is you don't know where to go. So. I'm just going to follow this tour group in front of me to get the route. Halt Stoi, which I think translates to stop, danger. The warning before the former high voltage electric fence here, which would have brought instant death. And in fact, some did use this fence as a way of suicide when they could no longer cope. In front of me is a crematorium. We're now inside the crematorium which also served as a gas chamber. And this building would be able to kill over 700 people in one go. The inmates would be told to undress, would be instructed that they were undergoing disinfection to keep the prisoners calm. They would then be locked inside and gassed with Zyklon B. And in here we have the ovens. Women's hair would be cut off from the corpses. Any jewellery and dental work would be removed before the body would be burnt. The average human body would come out as about 650 grams of ashes. The ovens couldn't burn the bodies quick enough. Many bodies were buried in mass graves. It's kind of eerie being in here and knowing thousands of prisoners met their demise in this building. Let's get out of here. Here would be public executions by hanging. Not a nice way to go. I've just come out of Auschwitz. I was probably only in there an hour and a half. There's a lot to see. I mean, I, the average tour was three and a half hours. And you can see plenty more than that. You could be in there like five, six hours. But obviously time is always of the essence. 